What if I told you that the new Root of Nightmares raid in Destiny 2 wasn't actually a raid, but it's actually a raid layer? You know, the raids that Destiny gave us or Bungie gave us to do on the Leviathan that were supposed to take, you know, half the time, basic mechanics, the mechanics built on each other, and then you beat the boss. That's what Root of Nightmares is. Let's get into it. I'm Leaky Valve, and I've never done Destiny 2 content. I don't even think I've made a montage clip of anything that I've played. So today we're going to cover two things. One, why did I just call Destiny's new raid, potential penultimate raid, a raid layer? And two, contest mode for that raid and why it was a joke. Before we get into anything else, we need to note that I'm I'm a casual player. I would consider myself like a hardcore casual, but casual nonetheless. I'm not doing the master, grandmaster content that Destiny has to offer. Like my end game is some nightfalls my end game is maybe legendary lost sector solo or doing raids with friends not even challenge mode raids not the hardest difficulty stuff i'm i'm casual i don't have a lot of time to play i don't do this for a job i'm happy as just playing strikes so why is in my mind the root of nightmares a raid layer well to discuss this i think we have to quickly go over what a raid is and what a raid layer is so to me when i think raid the first thing that comes to mind is king's fall where it's a bunch of encounters, each encounter is kind of different, there's a lot of white mechanics, and at the end of it all, there is very, very small tie-in from one fight that allows us to basically kill Oryx, and it's the sister's jumping mechanic, right, where we, we jump around with the ball. That's it. That's what I think of when I think raid. I think punishing, I think white mechanics all the time, I think screwing up is just a wipe i think getting killed you're probably better off just wiping at any given time at all times during a raid itself hard mode easy mode whatever normal if you die it's a wipe unless you're high enough light level that you're just doing it for the sake of running the raid then maybe maybe you have the chance to recover okay we've gone over what a raid is a raid layer, on the other hand, in my mind, the thing that comes to mind is Spire of Stars. Spire of Stars was you learn a mechanic at the beginning of the, I guess, raid, for lack of a better term. You use said mechanic throughout the raid, and at the very end, you have to use everything that you've learned throughout the raid to kill the boss. But while all of this is going on, you're still dealing with ads, you're still dealing with the boss, you know, it's still difficult to do things because there's still different little mechanics that happen during the fight and so on and so forth. So which one does the Root of Nightmares look like? If you haven't played it, go and watch a video, find someone on LFG, play it. I'm going to talk a little bit about it and I might spoil it, I might not spoil it, but... At its core, if you really just take a step back and you look at the Root of Nightmares and you examine just every encounter for what it is, if you just you just look at it from raid versus raid layer in the way that I described it, what is the Root of Nightmares? It is a raid layer. It is. It's one encounter that teaches you a mechanic. It is another encounter that builds on that mechanic. It is... A third encounter that is completely its own thing. Planetarium was awesome. And then it's a fourth encounter, which is the boss, that just has you doing the mechanic you've been doing the whole time. Right, right. Granted, there's there's still the aspects of the white mechanics. There is still all that, but it it doesn't feel punishing like a raid does. It doesn't feel like, oh crap, like even at 1600 doing just a regular raid, it doesn't feel difficult going into the raid and doing it myself at 1780 just yes normal mode I didn't complete a contest but normal mode 1780 I didn't feel underpowered so let me know what you think this is just like an open topic this is just my feeling on it and I'm 100% open to all ears I'm, I'm I'm open put in the comments be civil about it if I've missed something if it's because it's a lower thing or if it's because it's a size and scale thing of the raid that I just I completely missed the mark on what I think or, or what a raid or a raid layer should be or is considered as then sorry i'll i'll eat it i'll listen to what you've got to say but my view is it was a very big a very beautiful a unbelievably well designed raid layer with a pretty good third encounter in planetarium 
right? If we wanted to really dive, dive deep, 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 deep into the encounters and how I think you could personally make them more difficult, another time. But until then, until someone actually asks like, hey, I want to know what you want to hear. No one wants to hear what I want to hear. This is going to get like five views on it anyways. Now, this is the other part of the video that I need to discuss is the actual contest mode for said raid. In short, it was a joke. And I I probably don't have a leg to stand on when I say that contest mode itself was a joke because I never did contest mode. I didn't try it. I didn't complete it. I didn't have a team. I didn't LFG. I didn't do it. But when the whole community says that this is an overwhelming, or sorry, overwhelming, an underwhelming raid that no one felt challenged in terms of the ads and how powerful the ads were or how weak we felt as guardians, when everybody's saying the same thing, it's it's a joke. It really is a joke. And I, I, I bring this up because of the video that Datto put out a couple of days ago. If you haven't seen it, put the link in the description. Basically, he talks about his feelings on it being an elite Destiny player, and he is absolutely an elite Destiny player. So he definitely has a voice in this because this is his job to be the best of the best at the game. Whenever it comes to specific content, I don't know how he is PvP. He is good at what he does, and I think he has a voice when it comes to what happened. So why was this contest mode any different? If you don't know what contest mode is, contest mode is a little bit new. It, it caps everybody at the same light level. They make contest mode usually for 24 hours. This time they made it 48. And if you get contest mode done, you get one thing, a raid emblem. If you get it done first, as all raid races have been, you get a belt, a WWE style big belt kind of thing. It's cool. That part of it, the actual race part first to finish, cool, but... The fact that it was done in two and a half hours, and I'm not taking credit away from the team that did it because they played out of their tree, unbelievable for them to do it. But the fact that the mechanics were so dumb and mindless, once once you, once you understand the mechanics, they are dumb and mindless. Again, raid layer. And there were no damage checks. There were no, I guess, white mechanics per boss. There were might mechanics in the fights. Yes, there absolutely was, but there were no damage check white mechanics where, oh, we started damage phase, and now as soon as we start damage phase, the boss is going to do his white mechanic, and if we don't do enough damage in the next 5 to 10 seconds, we wipe because we are not powerful enough. We are not doing enough damage. We reset, and the only way to extend said timer on doing damage for the boss is breaking his white mechanic. Right? Think of Oryx where as soon as you start doing damage, he's starting to do his white mechanic. And if you don't damage check him, you die. So, like, why why did nobody feel challenged? And I say nobody, come. And this is coming from me talking with my clanmates while they were doing the raid. I didn't talk to them personally, but I was watching their streams. It was a resounding, this is easy, from everybody. They felt challenged by it, right? The The day one aspect, the not knowing aspect, the light level locking of it they felt challenged they felt accomplished doing it i'm proud of them for doing it shout out spice rack but they thought going in destiny's making this contest mode two days long and we've just watched the traveler our literal god and savior in this destiny universe just plow a beam of light into the witnesses ship and now there's this overgrowth of light versus dark. Like, the raid, it's beautiful. I just, I gotta say it, the raid's beautiful. But we're thinking, Val, the Disciple-style raid here, and I don't think that's too far to ask for. I think asking for another Last Wish was a lot, would be a lot to ask for. But in terms of scale and potentially mechanics, right? Like, would, would asking for a Valve the Disciple style raid for what we've just experienced in the actual Destiny storyline, would that be too much? I, I don't think so. Let, and let me know, again, what you think. If you if you think that this was what we needed to tie us over until we get to the final, final raid and the final, final boss, whether it be the Witness or something else where we have to, like, fight Zavala or I don't know. <laughs> Could you imagine? But why did nobody feel challenged for contest mode how was how was contest mode feeling like it was just easy peasy guys finishing it in under two and a half hours and then making solo comment or content and then 
duo content and people were starting to do cheeses and it turned into like this this is literally the root of nightmares destiny 2 raid meme like it it it's been a joke and i feel bad for dado i feel bad for him with how poorly his team placed and i'm sure me saying that is kind of off-putting to someone how can you feel bad for someone who makes a living playing video games he does make a living playing video games and he should be one of the first ones to get things done he explains that his team is better at certain things than others when it comes to raids and this raid did not suit his team the figuring out of mechanics and the puzzling aspect of raids isn't his team's strong suit and he explains that his team's strong suit is doing damage checks and he feels that they do a very very good job of getting damage checks when needed but when everyone in contest mode is two phasing all of the bosses including nezarek the god of fucking pain that's a joke that's not fair and quite frankly i I feel a bit ashamed as a casual player i know i had nothing to do with asking for content to be easier but i get i feel bad so i think there's three kind of reasons that contest mode was as easy as it was felt as easy as it felt to most people okay reason number one is as guardians we are now more powerful than we've ever been we have mods we have armor slots so we have we have everything we have the artifact weapons everything our club classes all of it we are so much more powerful than we used to be which is a good thing we have the ability to do crazy stuff now we have the ability to take down gods it's great Reason number two is that as a whole, as a community, and as guardians, we are smarter as well, right? We can now use our knowledge of the way that things work in the game to use our powers better, I guess, for lack of a better term. We can exploit our powers. We can exploit things in the game to give us more buffs and to keep us alive for longer, so on and so forth. And we're smarter when it comes to actual raid content and even dungeons for that matter we've been doing this for nine years we know all of Bungie's old tricks we know what the patterns are we know this probably leads to doing this and if we mess up this then we you know we we know what to look for when we're doing raids it's it's no longer run in shoot stuff hope it's okay it's run in and do something and you're always keeping an eye on the bottom left corner of your screen to see if i got a buff or something went away or timers so on and so forth the third reason that contest mode felt so easy is because Bungie needed it to. And here is the longer explanation of this whole video. And I, I'm, I don't even want to go into it very long. Bungie needs money to make raids. Dado touches on this quickly. Raids aren't cheap. Raids aren't free. Raids are, it's a huge piece of content. Yes, there's lots that goes into developing the questing and the campaigning and this and that, but there is that, that it's, is linear, right? Campaigns, and strikes and doing missions and patrols it's linear it is start here go to here complete this thing that is literally designed to be done a specific way in said mission or strike kill boss or get to the end right when you think of a raid it is six moving parts plus ads plus mechanics plus white mechanics plus checks plus this that everything like think of the complexity that is and was the last wish raid the riven fight alone was incredible i've completed the raid like two three times and every time we get to riven it's cheese we're not doing the actual riven fight because we're not shooting the eyes because it's going to take too long it is cheese or i leave so think about that side that last third point from destiny's or from bungie's point of view as to why that felt easy you know if it feels easy to me i tell my friends to come play the game maybe they come play the game and they buy it that's more money in bungie's pocket right that's how i ended up getting back into it right like i said i'm a casual player i didn't want to play this season i didn't know i saw bad reviews on lightfall i asked my clanmates they said no 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 it's actually really good the story aside it's a little vague but it's getting there cool spent my money now i want a good raid to finish all this i i really hope that the next raid that Bungie does, they don't listen to the casual, right? Dado says the casual won. We complained enough and we won. Endgame content isn't made for the casual player. Endgame content is made for uh, uh, someone who's consistently playing the game. 
yes, as a casual, I can play some form of end game content, right? Some nightfall strikes, some raids or some form of raids or dungeons, right? I can't do the hardest difficulty stuff and I don't deserve to. I don't play the game enough. I don't focus my craft enough. I'm not skilled enough to play some of these things. I, I'm not. So why did Bungie just all of a sudden say, oh, well, casual players, here you go. Here's a big slap in the face to the, not even elite. I wouldn't even call them elite. I wouldn't even call them hardcore. Here's a slap in the face to the most consistent player base we have. Here's a really easy raid. Casuals, you guys play too. Again, not taking it away from you. Good on you if you got it, but still. We need to think about the way that other people perceive the way that casuals bitch. I didn't bitch. I don't bitch. I don't care. I, f I fully understand and grasp the grind aspect of this game. You grind and you put effort in, you are going to get something out. You don't just get to show up and get a participation medal. You don't. You put in the effort. You figure the game out. You ask questions. The community is fucking great. Ask more questions. The community will love to help you. That's how you get better. That's all I got to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did get this far, what's your favorite raid? Or raid layer for that matter i'm open to all discussion on anything that was said here i really am i would love to have chats about it if you're interested thank you guys all so much i will see you on the next one peace